what's going on you guys welcome to the channel long time no see for my loyal subscribers i've been mia for a while i do apologize for that been a lot going on building the house holidays what have you but let's dive into today's vlog All right, you guys, so out here at the house, obviously, got an update video coming, but the reason for this is the final grade for this house was done um, two weeks ago, and of course, anybody that knows anything about a final grade, um, it's really not the final, okay? It's a really rough grade. Big clumps are left over, so um, not ideal for planting grass and etc. okay? So, this area, I got a late start to this vlog and I'm sorry. Um, I kind of got out of the swing of things from YouTube, but I need to get back into it. So, this area right here has already been worked with a Harley rake and I've got my man, Ryan Neese, with Piedmont Land Care, as y'all can make out right there behind me. He is on the Bobcat uh, T595 for you skid steer fanatics. But anyways, he's already worked this area. Had a little problem spot right down here, right about, let me get this fixed. Man, I'm rusty. Right around in there, okay, that was holding water. So he has reworked this whole area with the Harley rake. Got it all smoothed out. And then he's gonna run a landscape rake over parts of it before we seed with rye. And I've also got my Yanmar 424 out here. I've been running over the driveway several times with the box blade. All the trucks coming in and out of here, concrete trucks, stuff like that, has worked havoc on this place. But check this out. Ryan's a magician on that thing. He's got a lot of years of experience. And uh, he's got all those toys like at his fingertips. So that's the reason why I called him. He's done tons of these new construction lots. So I want to show you this landscape rake 6B. So he explained this to me when he first got here. So let me show you this thing, okay? It's made by Bobcat. And he even said, he's like, doesn't know why a lot of guys don't use these things, but let me try to regurgitate what he told me. All right. So, this thing right here obviously goes on the front of the bobcat. And inside here, there are teeth. And it rakes back all of the clumps and all that stuff and puts it in the bucket. Okay? When the bucket gets full, with all the clumps and what have you. Let me get on the other side because of the light. There we go. When the bucket gets full, go to wherever you gotta go. This opens up, okay? And you can dump out the bucket and then you proceed back to using that. So um, it works really, really well from what Ryan said. And also what I noticed, we all know the Harley rakes work great but they can be messy the way they throw dirt forward or backwards. So really messy, but they do a great job. So if you've got some areas where, you know, closer to um, garages, homes, stuff like that, where you can't sling all that dirt, this landscape rake will come in very handy. So I'm gonna try to get a little bit of footage as this progresses. Ryan's out here working his magic for the hundredth time I've already said. Glad to be back on the channel. I know it's been many, many weeks and things have slowed down for me. So inevitably it's gonna happen. But look at this right here. So this is what you get with a final grade, okay? I may have to come back through and pick these up later, but this is what you get with a final grade. This is what you get with a Harley rake. This is great 
um, the consistency for planting seed. And let me walk over here. I know I'm all over the place. I got no rhythm or rhyme for this vlog, but I'm gonna be using this right here. This is the perennial rye right here. Annual ryegrass. Okay, it does have a little bit of weed seed in it. I do not care. I just want greenery to come up to help slow down erosion. And it being late December, it's now December 28th. Um, we're actually got 70 degree temps today. So as long as we get some rain, we keep these warm uh, soil temps up, I should get some germination. And come May, June, all this rye will die out. But before that happens, I'll run over everything, um, aerate really well, hit it with some three to four blend of fescue and fertilize it to try to get that tur or no, to try to get that uh, fescue growing. All right. guys so you remember the landscape break that I showed you Ryan has put that on the Bobcat and uh, let me show you this thing So as you can see, when that thing's spinning, it's, it's, it's a rake. So it's collecting sticks, clumps, all that stuff. So this area right here, he has already done, and you can see how well it works. So all of those clumps are gone. And this area is ready for seed. And then his daddy's on his way with the straw spreader or shooter, whatever the hell you want to call it but anyways he's gonna finish doing this all the way around the house and then seed and straw Woo! all right so this area is done uh, it's been Harley raked landscape raked and seeded so I've put out a total of 150 pounds of ryegrass and the guys are getting hooked up to the um, straw blower so let's look at this This whole area is done. Lighten it up a little bit. So, with the weather we're getting, warm temps is 70 today. Should get some germination. Got all this done. Again, 50 pounds of straw. And my guys are over there. Getting 20 bells of straw out of Grinchy. So, I've never seen a straw blower up close. So I'm uh, looking forward to seeing this. Ooh, it is wet. So, I'm gonna try to show you guys what they got going on over here. I know I'm mumbling, but it is what it is. I'm just glad to be vlogging again. Hope I remember how to edit. I was doing two videos a week for over a year. And then work slowed down, started focusing on the house, and uh, just got sidetracked. So check this thing out. So this is the straw blower. thing loaded up.
you guys so all done they're all loaded up and out of here i wanted to get some more footage of the straw blower but the wind picked up out here like always you guys know whenever it's time to clean up leaves um put down pine needles stuff like that miraculously it always just becomes windy so right before they started to do the straw the wind has picked up so straw was going everywhere and um, i didn't want the camera getting covered in crap so you got to see it a little bit but anyways all of the turf areas around the home were completed um, nothing was needed out there because that wasn't touched during construction but all around the front the sides and the back let's go check it out have all been done and one thing i will say is i it was really cool of course i mean i've seen harley rakes before but I have never seen the landscape rake. So that was really, really neat to see used. I'm glad Ryan brought that over here. And that thing does an amazing job um, of, you know, sifting through the top of the soil. It's got like little teeth on it that, that spin. So it collects sticks and clumps and all that stuff. But as you can see, got it all done. If you enjoyed the video give it a big old thumbs up would love if you guys have uh would love if you guys would subscribe to the channel if you haven't already if you're new thanks for tuning in um i know this is a, if you're new you really don't know any different but it's been a little while since i uploaded updated a video I'm trying to talk too fast but i would appreciate your support um you know take some time and browse the channel um, i've put out a bunch of videos um, in the past year year and a half but um I'll get back into it, you know, when the work picks up. So, not going to get back to my normally uh, my normal upload schedule, but I will try to get another video out here. And Hannah and I need to film a video of the house since it is done. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate your support. We'll see you next video.